What would you see if you saw a medieval European smiling at you, blackened and yellowing teeth, and gums where the teeth weren't missing, all filled with yesterday's dinner? Cavities everywhere where there was a tooth to have a cavity? Or would you, just maybe would you, see white teeth with a slight but natural yellow tint? Mostly straight but a little misaligned, a mostly whole smile, though maybe a tooth replaced with a fake, all worn but clean? You'll see the latter as these examples of their bones clearly show. Medieval people maintained their teeth as they were able to. Yes, they did not have modern dentists to clean their teeth, nor did they have modern medicine to deal with gum disease and other ailments of the mouth. They had to then maintain their teeth and gums and make them last as long as they could. Losing a tooth or developing a gum infection would worsen, if not end one's life, without all those modern medicine we have so they had to prevent it. In a 13th century document on the preservation of health, it reads, When you get up in the morning, stretch your limbs so that the natural heat is stimulated. Then comb your hair because this removes dirt and comforts the brain. Wash your face with cold water to give your skin a good color and to stimulate the natural heat. Clean your nose and your chest by coughing and Clean your teeth and gums with the bark of some scented tree. Clean your teeth and gums with the bark of a scented tree. Yes, one can chew on the end of twigs from some trees and make a brush. With such a brush, one can clean their teeth with a paste made of salt and herbs, like a toothpaste. Actually very similar to some organic toothpaste of this day. And this they did. There's plenty of evidence for it. Clearly this document talks about it. Their bones, as I mentioned earlier, also attested this, as the teeth look remarkably well maintained. One would also be able to take a clean cloth, maybe their napkin at dinner, and wipe their teeth after eating, using it or a pick to remove anything stuck therein. Then one would wash one's mouth with a strong vinegar or a strong wine to clean their mouth with the vinegar or alcohol therein, which does work as some of cleaning. They would also then use mint or other herbs to freshen their breath so that they might have a clean breath and might appear more appealing and more high up by smelling better. In many cases, their teeth are even in better shape than many today. This is be not because they had better dental technology, they had barely any in existence at all, but because they, they used what they had and they had a lack of high sugary foods or foods with sugar added at all. They did not have sugar cane. The only way to add sugar was honey and honey took work. Most of the foods did not have much sugar in them and many of the foods were also rather coarse like their breads and would even help to clean off any sugars off their teeth. So they could have clean teeth despite the lack of dental technology. As in most cases, medieval people, like all people, desired to preserve their life by maintaining their health and also to look and smell their best, so to appeal others and to seem better. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. A few sources and other resources may be found in the description below.